All right. Welcome, welcome, team. Welcome to our evening training. I deliberately started with that clip as a reminder to all of us that uh, a big event is coming soon on 12th of December at uh, Oresereni Emara uh, for our lifestyle and uh, leadership uh, for our executive managers and directors. And so that should uh, ring a bell to all of us, those who have not yet qualified to work very hard in the remaining days, we have uh, roughly a week uh, to make sure that you qualify for that. All our new um, uh, executive managers, our new directors, we are treating you the entire day for free, right from morning to evening. And you don't want to miss that uh, lifestyle. All right, so now we get to our today's uh, session. And I am super, super excited uh, that today is a very, very special day for us. As a Superstars team, we are extremely excited to have a very special guest speaker. And for that reason, we will not uh, have many other things as uh, it were on uh, ordinary Tuesdays so that we can give him some quality time. This is a gentleman that I've interacted with for some time. Uh, with his permission, I would say that he's a part of Superstars team in as much as uh, he's doing too much for New Life internationally. He has come down to the team level to make sure that he has supported us in a very big way. He's the reason behind our big team in the US and now exploding business in the Philippines, Australia, and all that. So he's basically a friend. And uh, without uh, much ado, I want to invite him so that he can take quality time to share with us a very interesting topic. Ah, man, I heard of this topic and I was like, I'm here with my good notebook uh, to take notes. And this is none other than uh, Caesar Galanza. Uh, kindly, you can take it from there. Uh, Caesar, if you can hear me. Yes, I can. Okay, well, thank you very much. Good morning to you all from Los Angeles, California. It is a pleasure, a privilege, truly a joy to have this wonderful blessing and opportunity to join the Superstars Team International. You know, it's interesting because, um, and by the way, uh, Josephat, uh, Piros, always a pleasure to support you. Um, you just never know in this business, right? Being in part of Neolife for this amount of time, I've actually... Um, been supporting your team now for a few years and uh now i have the opportunity to share just some of the tips that i've uh, worked with your us uh team members but uh again i'm just so excited to be here i'm so um uh, honored for this wonderful invitation now <clears throat> i do have just a little minor cough so just excuse me if i happen to cough in your ear you can just go like that okay don't worry but don't, i'm taking my product so i'm good all right, well, let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want to do here as I share my screen is I want to just take this opportunity to uh, formally introduce myself as my boss, Joe Fat and P. Rose mentioned. My name is Cesar Galarza. I am the Director of Field Development for Neolive International, supporting our international business partners now in the Philippines and in the South Pacific. I joined Neolife in 2005 and have devoted the last 17 years, it's going to be 18 years almost, uh, supporting our North American market, the US, uh, Canada. But you know, one of the things that has happened in this business over the years is I've got the opportunity to meet wonderful people like yourselves from various parts of the world, Mexico, uh, Kenya, and of course now the Philippines and the South Pacific. So it's truly an honor and a privilege 
a um, little bit about myself. I'm happily married. You know, I think Joseph, you, you probably know this. I live by the golden rule. Happy wife, happy life. So far, so good. We have two wonderful children. They're twins. So guess what? These products truly work. And uh, it's just been a wonderful experience. Neo Life Nutrition has been a big part of our family. Every single morning we get up, we drink our shake, we drink our supplements, and it's just a wonderful way of living. Now, the other thing I want to mention to you here before I get started, I know we're going to talk about a very important topic as it relates to your business. And Joe Sfat asked me to put together some basic building fundamentals. So right now I'm going to ask everyone, kind of like a computer, right? Just to kind of erase the chip, you know, computers, you can just block out all the memory, erase the chip, kind of start fresh. And this um, training that I'm going to do for you is, is ultimately designed for a very key fundamental aspect in our business, which is recruiting. Sponsoring is the key to growing our business. So the first thing I want to talk about here as it relates to the Superstars International is that I am on a mission. I'm saying it here. I'm speaking it into existence to develop the next director or world team member in the Philippines, in the South Pacific, Australia, New Zealand. So it takes me to this question. Who do you know? Who do you know in the Philippines? Who do you know in Australia? Who do you know in the South Pacific, in New Zealand, we host regular calls. These are some of the world team members that I'm working with in the Philippines. We have virtual health talks uh, every other week. We have business opportunity presentations as well. We have Super Saturday business training. We just got back from an incredible world team vacation in Thailand. So again, if you ever wanted an excuse to visit the Philippines, New Zealand, or Australia, let me know, reach out to me, or check in with Joe Sfat. In fact, we already have team members in those regions, in those countries from Superstars International, just so you know. So we're expanding our business and I'm here to support you 100%. Now, before I get started into our sponsoring topic, I want to kind of take us back to a very important aspect uh, of this business. And, and we call that defining your why. You know, what is the purpose for you doing the business? Uh, quite often I ask this question around the world and I get answers like, well, I want to help people. Uh, well, you know, I, I want to serve others. Uh, well, I feel better. And those are all wonderful things, but it's important for you to define the purpose as it relates to building your business, because that purpose is what's going to drive you to take action. Yes or yes. So let me give you a quick example. You know, Quite often in this business, we can get discouraged. Have you noticed? People will say no. They may even judge us. You may be around some negative individuals and you may want to quit or you may want to give up. In other words, I've never seen anybody fail in this business, but I've seen a whole lot of people give up on their dreams. The why is designed to remind you why it is that you started this business in the first place. I call it find a why that makes you cry. You know, I have two five-year-old children and I take them to the supermarket and you've probably experienced this as well. You get close to the cashier register and they want the, the chocolate or the candy and they will throw a fit. They will cry. They will jump and they'll do anything in their power to get that chocolate. You see, children are not concerned about what people are going to say about them because their desire is so strong that they're willing to do all of that to get what they want. We forgot that as adults and we need to get back to it. It needs to be clearly defined and specific. If it's a car, maybe your why is a vehicle. What color? What make? Is it a Mercedes? Is it a Bentley? Is it a Rover? Is it a Honda? Those are all wonderful things. It needs to mean something to you. It needs to be motivating. I'll give you an example. My why is my family, my children. You know, I travel around the world, sometimes away for a month, and that can be a little difficult, but I do it with a smile because there's a bigger purpose. Write it down. You may have already written it down, but you have to have it available. Write it down, put it in your purse, put it in your wallet, put it on the refrigerator. Use it as a constant reminder as to why you're building your business. And finally, one of the things that you'll notice in terms of defining your why is that it's gonna begin to evolve. It may start with your nutrition. You know, maybe your why is just to get healthy or lose weight or reduce stress. Later, it could turn into a vehicle. Later, it could turn into a lifestyle retreat. Later, it could turn into a home. So that's going to be continuing to grow. I'll give you an example. Fill in the blank. I'm doing Neolife business so that, complete the sentence. 
so that I can have debt freedom, time freedom, pay my bills, vacations, ability to say yes, and reduce financial stress. You see, all of these things people identify with, and unfortunately, I'm not saying this is your case, but I come across people who are embarrassed to share these aspects or challenges. Don't be embarrassed to let people know why it is that you're doing your business. Now, again, back to the basics. One of the things that I've realized in working with Five Diamonds and President's team members and just very strong leaders like the Superstars founders is that they all follow some very simple daily success habits. This may not be new to you, but it's just some very basic fundamentals. Again, it starts with using the product. You have to be an example of the power of Neolife products. You see, we are the product. You've probably experienced this already. You're talking to somebody, you talk to them about Neolife, and you know what they say? What is that? Neolife, I've never heard of that. But they know who you are. They know that you're a person that has faith. They know you're a person that has integrity. So you are the product of the product. How is this related to your business? Well, unfortunately, sometimes people don't do well in this business because they simply don't feel well. So it's important for you to use the nutrition so that you can experience the true power of the Neolife products and that you can develop what's called a testimony, a story, a personal experience that's unique to you that you can share with people as you're out there talking to individuals. As you're talking to people, don't just share the products, share the opportunity, share your business. Remember to invite, follow up, and make it a habit to talk to at least two people every single day. Now, the third thing is personal development. This is an ongoing journey of improving ourselves. Work more on yourself than you do in your job. Spend 15 minutes a day reading, listening to motivational talks, presentations like this, self-improvement. It's going to help you in the long run because, again, as your own boss, right? We have a lot of bosses here on this call. Uh, it's important that you motivate yourself and that self-talk can be powerful. So if you're saying, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Oh, this is too difficult. Oh, I'm not sure if people are going to want this. Guess what? That can become a reality. But if you're saying, I can do this, I know I can, I know people need what I have, I know I have what it takes, that too can become a reality. So let's follow the three daily success habits. Moving on, what do we do here at Neolife? Since 1958, Neolife has been providing a solution to the needs of individuals around the world in 50 plus countries. As human beings, we have two primary needs. One is our health and nutrition. And two is our financial situation. So write this down. We are a needs-based business. We provide solutions for the needs of individuals. And I know many of you are already part of the Neolife family, but I want to encourage you immediately after this call to put forth your list of names. If you notice, we're keeping it very simple on this call today. Put together a list of names. Who do you know? Maybe you call these people already and they're on your cold list or your warm list. Move them to your hot list. Just start with a fresh new list of people that you know can truly use the nutrition and the business opportunity. And from there, it takes us to our topic of the day, which is a friend of mine called Rita. Yes, recruiting is the answer. I want to pause for a second and talk about what this means. Now, if you feel, oh, and I have a typo there. It's actually supposed to be answer. It says as, as we're, okay. Now, if you are feeling stuck, if you are wondering why isn't my business growing, think about Rita. If you're thinking about stepping up to the next level and you're having some challenges doing that, think about Rita. You see, the most successful distributors in Neolife around the world know that recruiting is the answer. Sometimes we get caught up in trying to revive the dead and that's okay. You know, we love people and we, we want to spend time and we want to focus on our customers, that, but we don't want to go out there and beg anybody. You know why? Because when you start begging people, you become desperate and people realize it and they sense it. So you want to do something else. You want to give birth to a new member. 
And you can do that by recruiting others. So I'm going to walk you through a very simple, practical training that starts with what to say, how to respond, okay, what to do, and how to close. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is the first thing here, what to say. You know, a lot of times people have challenges in their business because they simply don't know what to say to other people. They ask them, hey, what do you do? And you know what they say? Well, I work for a nutrition company and we have a science team and we have amazing products and it's the best company in the world. Guess what? Everybody's saying that. So you need something that's going to entice people and build some curiosity. And I put together this li simple little sentence here. And you can tailor fit this to your liking because this is not meant to be exactly word by word. This is just to give you a little understanding of how you can posture your business as you're talking to people. So somebody asks you at school, at church, or maybe at the supermarket, hey, what do you do? Perfect. I love that question. I have a business where I help people experience more energy, reduce stress, lose weight, make additional income, travel, and build a legacy. After you've said that, just pause and listen and ask, would you like to hear more about my business? If you notice in the sentences, it doesn't say anything about products. No mention of nutrition. Network marketing is not in this. So all we're doing is we're giving people an overview of exactly what it is that we're doing. Now, here's another example. Sometimes people, for whatever reason, I don't, but for whatever reason, don't like to use the word business. I don't know why. I mean, this is a business, but you can use the word passion if you want. I have a passion for helping people experience more energy, reduce stress, and so on and so forth. Again, put this in your own words. Here's another example. Hey, what do you do, Cesar? I'm glad you asked. I'm a part of a like-minded community who help others achieve success. And together, we strive to help people grow and prosper. Who doesn't want to grow? Who doesn't want to prosper? And then you ask, would you like to hear more about my business? Again, is there any mention of Neolife here? 50 countries, SAB, none of that. This is your business, everyone. I have to remind you, you are the CEO of your business. You're the boss, you're the president, and that's how you should posture your business. So as you're sharing this, you're going to get a few answers. And there's typically three that I've learned over the years. Yes, I want to hear about your business. No, I'm not interested in your business. Or the third one is, let me think about it. So those things, there's an answer for. Let's start off with this first one here. Okay. How do you respond when somebody says yes? Well, okay, yeah, I want to hear about your business. <clears throat> Please, don't start talking about the marketing plan. Don't get into incentives. Simply say, perfect. When are you available for 20 minutes? Let's have some coffee, tea, or maybe we can connect via Zoom. It's important that you set up what's called a one-on-one -on -one meeting. <clears throat> now, depending where you are in your business and the ability that you have, and how strong you are in your efforts, sometimes people are able to, what I call, seal the deal on the spot. But not most people cannot. So it just gives you a little time to build what's called curiosity. They may ask, well, what is this business about? We'll talk about it during our one-on-one -on -one meeting. The one-on-one -on -one meeting is truly one of the best ways, if not, in my opinion, the most effective way to build your business. You don't need a group of 75 to 100 people on a call to build your business. That, that's later. That's when you become a president's team member. But as you're getting to director, world team, as you're getting to step up to the next level, all you need is to meet with people one person at a time. Here's what's going to happen. In the beginning, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. You may be a little shy. You may not know what to say. But I believe that it doesn't get easier. You know what happens? You get better. Yes. So the more one-on-ones you have, the more you're going to improve your craft and the better you're going to get. So that's one. Now, here's another one here. When people say no to your business, remember, they're not saying no to you. They're saying no to your business or to your service or to your product. Please don't take it to heart. 
when somebody says no to you, don't run home under the pillow and cry yourself to sleep because it's just part of the business, okay? I'm here to tell you that you're gonna hear a lot of no's in this business. And every time you hear a no, it's gonna get you closer to a yes. Now, when somebody says no, you politely say, okay, I understand you're not interested in my business, but would you be interested in hearing about a health solution that can boost your immune capacity 37% in 21 days? And then you pause and you listen. What just happened? We lead with the business and we fall back with the product. You can do this any way you want to. A lot of people are more excited about the product. They lead with the product and then they say no to the product and then they wonder, well, they're going to say no to the business. I personally think it's much more effective as a business builder to lead with the business. And then your plan B or your fallback option can be the nutrition or the product. Now, if they still say no, ask for referrals. Referrals are powerful, everyone. I was on a call the other day in the North American team, and I heard Stephen Whitwell, who is the new vice president of sales or field development. He was sharing a story about a person who was not interested in this business. But then the individual asked him, hey, do you know anybody that would be interested in my business? He said, yeah, call these people. And you know what happened? One of the people he followed up with as a referral became the largest distributor in the company he used to work for. The largest distributor. You just never know. I'll give you another quick example of the power of referrals. About two years ago, I got a call from an individual who is my mentor. His name is Rico Brown. You guys are probably familiar with Rico Brown. He is the reason why I'm here in terms of just the development. You know, he believed in me during a time where I didn't believe in myself. Does that sound familiar? Well, guess what? He said to me, called me, and he said, hey, listen, I have these two ladies in Baltimore. Uh, they need a little help. Can you follow up with them? It's a referral. I pick up the phone and I call and I meet Josephine Morangu, Rachel Maina, and I introduce myself. I say, hi, my name is Cesar Galarza. I got this referral by Mr. Rico Brown. He asked me to check in with you. And they said, oh my goodness, I yeah, I've seen you on the calls. Wonderful, when can we meet? We put a strategy together and the rest is history. They became world team members in six months. Hello? This is the power of referrals, everyone. So again, when you ask for referrals, you simply say, do you know anybody who would be interested in hearing about my business? And ask for 10 referrals, 10 names. Don't ask for one or two, ask for 10. Because if you ask for 10, you may get one or two, okay? So, so set your standard always high. And again, I believe strongly, strongly in referrals. Let's move on. The third thing here is what to do. Now, it's important that you have a game plan coming into your one-on-one -on -one meeting. So let's recap. You've shared your business. This person said yes. They want to meet with you with 20 minutes. You only have about 20 to 30 minutes to cover the following, depending on where you are in your business. But you don't want to turn that into a one-hour or two-hour one-on-one because they're going to wonder, wow, this takes a long time. The first thing you want to do in the one-on-one -on -one is share what's called your ID and your story. This can be business or this can be health, but at the end of the day, it is the proof that people are looking for. Your ID is basically a way for you, and that means your identification, to connect with others. All you're doing is you're connecting. The ID is very critical as you're doing your one-on-one -on -one because one of the things you'll find in this business as you're talking to people, and you may have experienced it already, is people will have what's called a shield in front of them as soon as you start talking because you know what they're thinking this person wants to sell me something has it happened to you it's happened to me so we put a they put a defense so how can we how can we bring the shield down how can we kind of put the guard down a little bit share a little bit about yourself if you noticed in the beginning of the call i mentioned a little bit about my background i'm married anybody on this call married anybody on this call have children so those are just little things that you can do and share to help identify with others. And then you get into your story. Your story is truly the, the proof of why you're in the business or why you're using the product. How you got started, what did you start using in terms of the product or, or business? How did that result in success or benefits? 
and where you are today, meaning the future is bright and you're looking to partner with others. Keep it very simple. You want to do this within about a two or three minute time frame. Next thing, do a little brief overview of the company. Neolife, business in 60, 60 plus years. Our founder, Jerry Brassfield, our CEO, Kendra Brassfield, scientific advisory board. Now you can talk about these things. You know, a global opportunity, a business without borders. Just do a little overview, but don't focus too much on the company. Focus on yourself because this is your business. The next thing, this is probably very familiar and basic to all of you. Share the cellular nutrition story. You know, we have 75 to 100 trillion cells and these cells membrane begin to get hardened and the nutrients can get in and so on and so forth. I've been on calls where, pe where people use their hands to do the cellular nutrition. Literally, it's up to you. But cellular nutrition really just encompasses the true benefits and the power of Neolife products. In some areas or regions, provitality is what's being used or uh, shared as it relates to cellular nutrition. In others, it's provitality and the breakfast pack, which is the Neolife shake. That's up to you, but try to keep it simple. In this cellular nutrition talk, try to just focus on one or two products max. Because if you start talking about three, four, or five products, this person is going to wonder two things. It's happened to me. One, I got to drink all that? Oh my goodness. 15 pills? I don't even drink one a day. They're going to start thinking that way. Or they may even think, how much is that going to cost? Keep it simple, everyone. One product, Neo Life Shake, breakfast, and you're good. And then later you can talk to them about personalized solutions. Number four, if you truly want to grow your business and attract business partners, you must be able to effectively share what's called a basic three model to director. It's in your compensation plan booklet. I know superstar teams founders have taught you guys this presentation. It's being used around the world and it's very effective for a simple reason. It shows people how the money is earned. Simple as that. And when you can share with people how the money is earned, they leave with the concept of knowing that there are some things that need to happen. One, I need to do, I need to follow the three daily success habits. Two, I need to start recruiting. I need to start sponsoring. So that just gets clearly defined from the beginning. Okay. Now, the next thing here, uh, the objective is recruiting. And this is the fourth step. We've gone through one, two, three, and this is where it ends right here. When you've covered everything that we've talked about, the company, your story, you've gone through the whole entire presentation. It's time to make a decision. I like to refer to this as getting mad, M-A-D. Make a decision. Look at the person in the eyes and say, hey, let's get you started. I'm ready to support you. Let's start changing your life. And what I like to use, and again, this is your business. These are just tips. And I'm, I'm sure the, the team here has provided a lot of good training on closing people. Everybody has a different personality and a way of closing. I work with people who don't make any noise. They walk into a room, you won't know they're there, but you put them in front of someone and this person won't leave until they get started. I mean, they're really that good. So use what's called the pre-assumed closed method. The pre-assumed closed method means that you're pre-assuming psychologically you have built yourself up that this person is going to get started. Are you guys understanding and following what I'm saying? You have built yourself up. There's no doubt in your mind that this person is going to join. If you approach it that way, you're much more confident. It sounds in your voice. People sense it. And they say, okay, this person knows what they're talking about. If there's doubt, out in your voice, if there's doubt in your words, people will sense it as well. So be confident and just know that this person is going to get started. The next thing here, try to use words that win. I'll give you a couple examples. What did you like most about what you heard today? Those are words that win. What did you enjoy most about the presentation, the business presentation, or the stories, or the product presentation? What did you like most? Don't ask things like, did you like it? Yes or no. 
Because now you're opening it up to a no. Now you're putting that in their brain. Don't even use the word no. What did you enjoy the most out of today's business training? Then politely say, do you have any questions before you get started? Follow through. If you're there in front of them with the laptop, open up your website and start following the process. Okay, let's go ahead and start inputting your address and uh, just go through some information here. I'm just going to ask you for a few details. Do you want to add your husband to the account? Do you want to add your wife to the account? Would you like one pro vitality, two pro? You guys see what's happening? I'm going through the motions of this person getting started. And in fact, you can do the same thing with an application. And actually, that's what I've done for you. When we use have in-person meetings at the center or, or even in the places I'm traveling to now, I get in front of people with an application, I sit with them, and then I get a pin, and they start watching me write. And sometimes they're looking at me like, what's this guy writing right now? And I'm like, hey, would you like to add your husband? Uh, would you like one pro vitality too? And now they're kind of going through the motions, okay? Now, again, this process is not perfect, but it gives you just a, a way, a foundation for you to build upon. And the more you do it, the better you're going to get. At the end of the day, we're not just signing people up. We're not just trying to, uh, you know, win an incentive or win the next trip. We're really trying to inspire people to take action. So it's important that you commit yourself, yourself to helping them succeed through your proven success system. I'll say it again, your proven success system, not Neolife's proven success system, not Cesar's proven success system, your proven success system. When you start thinking that way, you understand that, it's not just going out there selling product, okay? It's building people up. It's inspiring them. And, you know, in the world that we live in today, people need inspiration. You know, even a compliment can go a long way. You know, there's a lot of hardship out there with the pandemic, with the economy, and there's a lot of things going on. So people are looking for problem solvers. And guess what? You can be that solution. You can be that light at the end of the tunnel. Just be bold and go out there and have a good heart and know that you really, truly want to assist people in their lives, physically and financially. Now, in summary, here's just a few presentations that you want to be able to effectively uh, present. The first one is very simple, and we do it in North America. I've introduced this concept in New Zealand, and now I'm working with the Philippines group. We don't got to complicate this business. Pull out a product catalog, sit with the person, and you have a presentation in your hands, literally. That's all you need. Now, please don't misunderstand me. Don't go through the entire product catalog, okay? Because then you're gonna have people after this call like, Joe's fat, I went through the whole catalog and they didn't sign up. No, no, all I'm saying is go through the Pro Vitality, talk a little bit about the company, and if they have a need that's personal or specific to them, for example, they have knee challenges, offer the full motion. If they want to lose weight, offer the weight management program. So again, the catalog is a great way for you to do one-on-one -on -one presentations. Also, I think our founders of Superstar Team will agree with me on this. Never miss a Zoom meeting. If it's a health talk, if it's a business meeting, if it's a presentation, if it's a company meeting, stay close to the fire. When you take the coal off the fire, you know what happens? It gets cold. So keep the coal in the fire, stay hot, stay where the fire is, where the activity is. And you can do that by logging on to as many Zoom meetings and inviting as many people to your calls as you can. You know, when I think about this, I think about you guys' um, distant relatives, Team Blessing in, in the USA. They are master inviters. I, I don't even think that's even a word, but I'm just going to use it. They have mastered the art of inviting people to Zoom meetings. They truly have. They invite people to every single Zoom meeting, a conference call, a leadership call, a training, a health talk. And now they're hosting their own meetings too. So this is called leveraging. Leveraging means that you don't have to know it all. But if you can get 10, 20 people to join a call like this, guess what? The work is being done for you. And you can take advantage of that. The next thing, PowerPoint presentations. Just like the one I used today. I know in the uh, Kenya back office, there must be some PowerPoints that you can download from the back office. Um, if you're not familiar with presenting PowerPoints, that's okay. I work with 60, 70 year old individuals who print them out and they create a flip chart and they got a PowerPoint in their hands. So when there's a will, there's a way. Okay. 
So it's up to you. Use the resources. We have a lot of business tools that can support your business. You don't have to know it all. It's all done for you. You just simply have to try to use them. The fourth one is pretty straightforward. Talk to people every day. You know, this, is th this business is about building relationships. It's about helping people. It it's about assisting them in their journey to improve their lives. So just talk to them. Pick up the phone. Don't text people. Pick up the phone. Call them. Say, how are you doing? Maybe you don't even talk about Neolife or the business or the product. You know, people really want to know if you truly care about them. They're not interested in just buying product. They need somebody that's going to help them. So just talk to people and create that habit every day. I want to share a little quick story from our founder, Jerry Bressfield. Some of you may have probably heard this in one of the lifestyle events, but he shared a story that I've never forgotten that's really helped me in my business and helping others. He said that when he started his first uh, business with Neolife or his first venture, he would wake up in the morning and put 10 beans in one pocket, in his right pocket. And his goal every day was to talk to 10 people. And every time he would talk to someone, he would take one bean from the right pocket and one bean, put it in the left pocket. And that was just a reminder, okay, to himself. And he was building this um, accountability, right? When you're on your own boss, you got to have account. Nobody's going to be like, Cesar, how many people did you talk to today? No, that's up to you. So anyways, to make a long story short, he said he was driving and it was about 11 p.m. at night, back in the days when people would pump gas for you, uh, petrol, and he didn't have nobody to talk to. He had one more bean, but he was determined to talk to somebody before he went home. So he talked to this gentleman who was pumping his petrol as the last person, as the last resort, 11 p.m. in Porterville, California, farm country. And guess what? This person got started and became one of his biggest leaders in his business. You just never know. I'm not saying you have to get 10 beans, but maybe you start with two. It's up to you. I'm just giving you some tips. And the last thing here, social media is a powerful, powerful recruiting tool. I love seeing the personal development videos from Joe's Fat and P. Rose and those uplifting messages and so many others around the world. I just watch them, you know, and it's encouraging and it's inspiring. And guess what? It's no coincidence that these same people are the top recruiters in their region. Use the tools that are available to you, like Facebook, like Instagram, to share your business. You don't have to go on there and do a whole uh, presentation, but you can wake up in the morning and show the delicious Neolife shake and how much you and your family are enjoying it. Some of you guys have probably seen the video I created a few years of my children uh, making their shake in the morning. It was improvised. It was not even planned. We woke up in the morning. That's what we do. They make their shake. And I told my wife, hey, why don't you record this? I want to post it on my Facebook. People have sent me messages and they've said, Cesar, that video has helped me to introduce this family who has children for the Neo Life Shake. I'm not saying it's because I did it. I'm just giving you ideas because in the world that we live in today, we have to adjust to the times. Unless you live in a cave with no internet, no water and no electricity, maybe that's the exception. But if you have internet, if you have electricity, if you have a Facebook account or an Instagram, you can build a successful business. Ask questions, who do you know? Things like that. So yes, you definitely want to take advantage of this wonderful resource. In closing, I want to leave you with a final message. It's been a true pleasure being with you on the call today. Although my time was short, I think it was very productive. I want to encourage everybody on the Superstars team, international, to focus on the things you can control. I'll say it one more time. Focus on the things you can control. You see, in the world that we live in today, there are so many things that are happening that we simply don't have control over. You may be wondering the pandemic. We don't have control over the pandemic. When is it going to end? I don't know. The government. We don't have control over who gets elected. We want one to get elected or not, but we don't know. The economy, the rising cost of food, petrol, cost of living. Those are things you really don't have a lot of control over. So get over it and focus on the things you can control. For example, your attitude. Did you know you can control your attitude? You see, I truly believe in my heart that your attitude will ultimately determine your altitude, how far you get in this business. You can wake up in the morning feeling 
something inspired, thinking about who can I talk to today, maybe reviewing this presentation and say, okay, now I got some tips to work off of and, and just have a positive, optimistic outlook on life. Or you can wake up in the morning, bump your knee on the bed and say, oh my goodness, I know it's going to be a terrible day already. It's completely up to you. But focus on your attitude. If you maintain a positive attitude, it becomes contagious. Have you noticed that? I love being around positive people. Have you noticed? I love it. It's the best thing ever. And you know what I do when I see negative people or there are negative people around me? You know what I do? I run because that can become contagious too. So focus on being positive and that becomes contagious with others. The second thing that you can work on and focus and that you truly have control over is the effort that you put in. You see, it takes effort talking to people every day. It takes effort to log on to this Zoom meeting. It takes the effort to wake up in the morning and drink your supplements every day. All of those things require effort. And I wanna encourage you to put in a strong, strong effort. Every day that you get up, try your hardest. Be your best. That's the best thing that you can do. Just work hard at it and, and put in a true effort and just simply try. And the last thing, you can control your actions. You see, if you don't do anything after this call to build your business, with all due respect, we have wasted our time. Nothing is going to happen. But if you are inspired and you go out there and you take action and you put some of these basic fundamentals into action, into practice, I promise you, something will happen. Something will happen. And if you focus on these three key things, not just in the business, but in life, you're going to succeed. You know, sometimes people give up. They get frustrated. They don't get the results. Keep going. Don't give up. Delmar Carmack in the U.S., the three diamond, Delmar and Shirley Carmack, they're my good friends. I call them auntie, auntie and uncle, okay? They started with $49 and a dream. That's it. And today, they are living a very nice lifestyle of the rich and famous, literally. It's wonderful. So don't give up. Don't give up on your dream. You might be thinking that I'm crazy. I know I haven't had an opportunity to meet all of you, but I believe in every single person on this call. I believe that you have the true God-given talents and gifts to go out there and change the world. So with that, I want to thank you once more for allowing me to come on to the Superstars Business Training with our awesome Future Diamond Directors on this call. I'm so excited and so encouraged. I want to encourage you and challenge you this month to achieve your 3 and 30 this month. I know there's only a few days left, but... It's the last chance for romance. So let's go out there and make it happen. Thank you once more, P. Rose and Joe Sfat. It's been a true pleasure. Back to you, sir. Amazing. Thank wow. you so much, uh, Susan. That's just very timely. And uh, you can tell from the fire that we, we are seeing on the chat, uh, people are super excited. And by the way, Caesar, the flow was very good because you talked like uh, one of us, superstars. I mean, the strategies and everything rhyme very, very well with uh, what we've been discussing. And so, team, you know you are on the right path in the right direction. As a matter of fact, uh, there is a four minutes video, prospecting video we did with the PROs and uh, team, you'll find it in our uh, YouTube channel. You want to, be, to go there and pick it. And you can also edit it a little bit, but the idea is you get the flow that Caesar has shared with us. And the assignment, I loved it. Everyone in the call, do you are three in 30. You sponsor three person, it's so possible for us. We've been champions in sponsoring and this is taking the sponsoring to a whole new level. And uh, since I can tell you in uh, one, two, three months from now, I'll call you and I give you the feedback of the results that uh, we'll be getting here. I've seen one request and before you go, I, um, I have to mention it. The team requests that we invite you in our International Superstars Team Convention on 11th of March. 
Uh, please, sister, you can nod. You can nod like this affirmatively even before you check your diary. <laughs> <laughs> I will be more than happy to join you on there. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. And uh, before we wind up, uh, team, before you go to bed, make sure if you have not started following our International Superstars team page on Facebook, you go right away and you click follow. There is a lot happening there and I don't want anyone to miss. We are doing massive recruiting, not just recruiting, massive recruiting. And if you are not in that page, then you are being left behind. Our social media strategist is here in this call, um, Felix, is doing an amazing job, but some of us are in darkness, we are not aware. Don't go to bed before you click follow on that page. So thank you so much and God bless everyone. Thank you, sister. We really appreciate your precious time sharing with us.